Welcome back. Springdale Township is envisioning a future for its historic industrial properties, hoping to attract more visitors and money into the valley. KDK's Lauren Linder shares how a partnership with Duquesne Light is making it happen. This old industrial land in Springdale Township near the former Cheswick plant is now being revitalized. There's a new wetland and early plans to build a municipal complex on the site back there. I used to look around up on top of the hill and think, boy, this would make a great uh, area to, to build things. For the first time in 12 years, Rick Schwartz stepped foot onto this part of Duquesne Light's property back in the woods in Springdale Township. I used to take care of it. I used to take care of the, uh, the emergency ash pond that was talked about, the boreholes, everything else. It was a special moment for the president of the township's board who worked for the power company for 33 years, including at the Cheswick power plant, where just last year the famous smokestacks came tumbling down. Now he's helping to bring some of Duquesne's historic lands into the future. On Monday, he, the company, and other local and state leaders celebrated a new half-acre wetland that will naturally treat spring and storm water impacted by Duquesne's activities on the property before safely discharging that water into Tawny Run. It is going to reduce the presence of any harmful substances in the water running off into Tawny Run. Schwartz also revealed that they want to transform the 100 acres behind the wetland by building a municipal complex for the township, along with facilities for the regional police and EMS and a training facility for the fire department. Even more, they hope to develop classrooms for students to visit and learn about the environment. It's going to be an opportunity for school districts to bring kids here, get them out on the Rachel Carson Trail and tell the story of what intentional cleanup efforts can lead to. Bringing money back into the valley and preserving the land for generations to come. Now here I am standing in front of you taking care of the property again and I'm so thankful. State lawmakers intend to pursue a state grant to help with planning in the next year. For now reporting from Springdale Township, Lauren Linder, KDK TV News.